Hey everyone, it's Brian, and welcome back to Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved on the PC. I am still a vehicle, so if I play multiplayer, it says, You have been killed by a vehicle, or a vehicle killed you, or whatever. Just a little funny, uh, messing with people there. But anyways, uh, we're gonna be doing my favorite level in Halo 1 now, the Silent Cartographer. Just in my opinion, one of the best missions in the game. It's just iconic. You start off right here with two pelicans swooping in, which... They kind of done like future Halos too, kind of like the Pelican flies, like especially the um, beginning of the mission, uh, the Covenant there. That what they call the which, that seems actually better than this one, but this is just the for the time and everything. It's just is a map simple and everything, but it's just this nice little flyby of the island the and the storm the beach and everything, and, and it's just. One of them contains the map room. I, I just like it, you know? Get set to come out swinging. Um, hopefully the Marines don't get too fucked up over here, but again, it's kind of lucky to draw how many Marines die here. Like, there's an achievement to not have Marines die in, like, either Heroic or Legendary on the anniversary version of this, um, which again, it's just lucky to draw, you know, sometimes the Marines will just go and grenade themselves to death, other times, it'll be easy as hell, and you sit back and watch them clear it themselves, so... But it's an achievement right literally the beginning of this level, so you know it's not like, well, it fucked up, we gotta redo all this work. No, you just literally they do like ten seconds worth of combat, so it's not that annoying if you fail it. And it's literally the first battle, you know, it's not like, oh I have to redo this whole fucking mission, go through twenty things. And also you can get stuff like the bandana skull, which gives you like infinite ammo and whatnot, so like I said, it's pretty basic achievement. I I don't know if I actually could actually bother to get to it, but it's pretty doable now. I want to see if I can get a stacker here on my uh, warthog. Well, if not, there's our warthogs which I can mess with later, so I'm not that concerned. But okay, yep, let's move stacker's out. not on here, let's but I don't really map. care because the there's two the more warthogs you can get later. So let's. Worry about Stacker later. You'll. Some of you might know why I want to get Stacker on the Warthog eventually, but. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for people who don't. But we're just going to go here and just kill these little guys here. It's going to be fun. I don't really care if these Marines die. None of them are important. So we can just have fun and kill everyone here. And there's plenty of Marines to get new replacements from, should things go south. Run them over when you can, so it's just either hope these marines can actually fucking hit something, but there's some jackals down there which aren't your main target really. Clearing up this area is first. Like the get these elites and stuff, the grunts. If I was better at this game, so I would actually hit them with the thing a little more. And oh shit. That Alright, the plasma grenade didn't stick. I thought it was about to stick there and so we did die already here. On a pretty easy mission really. There's a few difficult places, but overall this mission's not that bad really. Just want to get these damn uh elites. Fuck. Gonna recharge the shield. Not gonna use the health pack already, because of fucking jackal. in here and the Marines sometimes have a hard time hitting the guys in here. So you can try to help them by running them over or just give them a good angle and just do shit like that. There's one more ground up there about deal him later because anyone who's played this level will know that um, you don't even have to go here just at this point. Now you can actually rush through here if you go like this and Alright, well I fucked it up, but I was gonna sequence break anyways, but if you actually time it a little better, you can get through there before the door seals. And then that gold elite there with the sword will actually won't attack you. But since I'm not sequence breaking, I'm not gonna sit here and try to do that glitch. That can be its own separate video if I ever care enough. But um, 
is showing you that. Yeah, you can actually get through there. You can also ram your warthog through that doorway as it closes and get the warthog stuck. But, um, I'd rather not. So, let's continue on the beach here. Like I said, that little bit there is completely optional. You don't have to go do that because... You have to go unlock the door, so you can just go unlock the door first and not have to prop with this, but... Now, there's a group of jackals here, which is just nice to just take your grenade and do that to that whole mess. Just makes it a lot easier than trying to climb over a half a dozen jackals, just hit them with one grenade. Or however many jackals are there. And now this is just kill a couple grunts and... Dodge the plasma grenade. That's always good. Like there is a path into the interior of the island. Now, we need to find the security override to get you can actually get your warthog through this next area if you just fuck around and keep driving up hills for a while, but honestly, not really gonna bother. So it's not really that. I mean, it's useful. You can just plow through the um hunters, but I just I don't really care enough to sit there and throw it against a uh, wall in a tree for like. 10 minutes. Well, and you guys probably don't want to watch that. So like we'll to I've got the second warthog here now. I'm going to see if I can get um, stacker in this one. And if not, a third warthog becomes available, like where we just left from. Where she's talking about, oh, yeah, we can see it from here, but there has to be no way up. So, again, if I don't get this time, we have one more shot. And, nope. No cigar. But hold on, now I'm gonna try doing. Just kick these two out and just try again. There we go, I got Stacker here. Or as the book calls him Waller. But, so I want to get him in position because I'm gonna use him too. Well, not, I mean, I'm not gonna use him too, but um, I want him on my thing because. There'll be a reason. Let's leave it at that. So I'll go bring up him and put him over where we want to be. Now, actually, since I'm feeling clever today, I'm going to show you um, something that might be a little useful. Because I got these guys here, but they'll still be useful in combat. I'm going to park them where some enemies will show up later, which is right over here. Now, I'm wondering, if I actually put them inside, like, I think this should be about, I've, I've never done this before, I've never put them exactly right here, which I think this is where, um, there'll be something later. So I have no idea what will happen, but I'm just feeling adventurous today, and it'll make an interesting video, probably. If something that just hasn't really been messed with before goes on. Hopefully that's actually the right position. It looks like it should be about right. If not, I'll just make another video at some point where I take both warthogs and line them up there because that won't be the Let's Play continuity where um, Johnson and Stacker and the Australian dude survive. Well, I'm not going to worry about the Australian dude surviving because I don't know what his face looks like and it's just kind of guessing, okay, which Marine was talking. But, um, yeah, these two are just... Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Get back in, get back in, get back in, get back in. No, oh, get back in. Phew. Let's fuck that up. No, I have to go check to make sure they're still... No, fuck, I don't need to. Okay. Got the checkpoint there. Um, you know, just as you go around the island, just pick up checkpoints, but... Not that little pointless detour is over with. I can continue onward here. Hopefully I actually have some sort of fun payoff, otherwise I just wasted five minutes for nothing. But, fuck it. It's Make this something different here, you know? You watch some MLG guy bust through this off in like two minutes. I do like all these shortcut jumps and fucking whatnot. You watch someone just casually play through everything properly and just be like, make every headshot the first time, but well, where's the fun in that? This, this is me screwing around. Screwing around and screwing up, it's fun. Everyone has a good time. Except for me. Sometimes when things don't go well. And these guys probably aren't having a good time, but. Nice. 
this fucking elite is taking forever to actually hit, but he's dead now. So, put up a good fight. He was dodging a lot. He had his grunts in there, uh, taking up shots. And now we fight some hunters. And I miss there, so I get to do this the fun way. There's one. Oops. I meant to space there, I didn't quite get it, but yeah. Not that hard of a battle. Now there's some shields there, but I'm not going to get them yet because there's all these jackals that spam overcharge shots that will come up right in this hill, and there goes your uh, overshield instantly if one hits you. And that grenade didn't kill as many as I'd hoped, but screw it. That didn't kill as many as I'd hope either, but whatever. That guy somehow managed to survive several pistol shots from what I thought him in the head, but... Take care of some of these grunts. And now, there's another jackal. Now you can just easily take on this elite because you don't have anyone else shooting at you as you close the gap. Which you don't even need to close the gap because Halo 1, no one has a really ranged weapon. And you can just pick them to death with the pistol. You know, they don't have carbines, beam rifles, needle rifles, focus rifles, that sort of thing. So, really, um, other people with pistols are like your biggest enemies. I don't think, um, I don't have to worry about spoilers. You know how this fucking game is. You fight the Flood later. And they use the human weapons. I don't recall if any of them use sniper rifles, but really the only ranged things you have is a Flood holding a pistol and a Flood with a rocket launcher. Which, the Flood holding a rocket launcher, fucking suck. But other than that, you don't really fight much in the way of ranged enemies, really, so... Distance is your ally immensely in this game. I don't know why the hell I just did that. But you gotta get him out in this in the open a little bit, so you can do that. See, so I agree in this game, the hunters are a little too easy. I mean, nowadays though, the fucking hunters, you shoot them with like a tank, shoot them with a rocket, and it hurts them, but it doesn't kill them or anything, they just have so many fucking hit points, it just becomes an ordeal of patience, and it's just not fun anymore, but I, I can see in this game how people didn't like it being that fucking easy. But, uh, yeah, so... System. Got this nice little 3D model of something. I don't know if this is actually accurate, and I've never really checked this out, but... Now, if you have a um, jeep full of marines right here, they'll actually start Good. shooting at this guy while he does this whole animation. The main shaft. But I didn't feel like parking my thing there and walking all the way back out without it and all sorts of shit, because it just... We're about another five minutes of setup just for a little thing that wouldn't even be worth it. The you know, thing I set up with the other Warthog was just because I wanted to get stacked anyway, so I was already fucking screwing around. This, we got the Stealth Elites. Now, fun fact is, if you have a crappy computer, these guys won't be like this kind of like translucent watery. They'll just be kind of like faded out. Like, see how they fade in a little bit? They'll be really loosely faded. So, instead of being like all translucent, if you have like a crappy graphics card or just an old computer. Um... Like, it'll just be kind of faded out, like, really faint, and stuff, and they won't have, like, the bending effects, which can make them either easier or hard to see, just kind of, like, how you play, but also, when they're, like, that faded, um, Bravo 22 was bringing us some heavy where'd the Warthog go? After oh, I it's buried under there, I think, cool. I thought you could use them. Let's move down the beach, keep an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. But, yeah, so, um, if you use just a flashlight on them, I... It's really useful when they're like faded out because then they get kind of like lit up and stuff. Um, don't know how useful the flashlight is against the translucent forms, but that's why you'll see me title a flashlight a lot while fighting stealthily. It's just because it was useful when I had a crappier PC. And then just used to just tap and cue with my ring finger there whenever I see a uh, stealthily. So you don't actually have to fight these guys, you can jump down and where I Looking at that pelican, you can actually just drop down there if you can hit the hills properly and kind of like land on the tree and stuff. So if you just jump flat out, 
you're gonna kill yourself, but you can kind of like slide down the rock wall and stuff, but... Nah, we're doing a let's play. We're gonna do this properly. And as I say we're gonna do things properly, I managed to keep missing punching someone in the back. That's great, Brian. But get a fresh pistol. Well, not fresh pistol, but pistol ammo. We can just take a very short walk here. Because, um, what's his face should be here? The stacker, yeah. So it's not even that long of a walk, but just see if there's a. There we go. Pistol probably is more useful, but I'm just kind of using it as the assault rifle roll. So I'm going to keep it anyways. Now. Uh, which direction would that be? It'd be this way, I think. Because it's kind of looping around. So I think it's actually back here, which it just doesn't feel like it should be from the way the angles are, but so let's take out these guys. Double splatter kill there. Nice. And um, pop over here. There's another jackal here. Splatter him. Splatter him. Did, didn't see me. Did, did I actually get shot by him? I honestly think it did, but yeah, we have a uh, warthog half merged into the uh, pelican here. Never tried this before. I just wanted to do that just to see what the hell would happen. Don't know if it fucks with anything, but we got a rocket launcher here, which on search sometimes you want to use, sometimes you don't. Depends on how you want to fight hunters. Um, I can get another uh, plasma rifle pretty easily, so I'm going to actually. There's a third Warthog right there, so you can have three different Warthog flow troops, but what happens if I try to drive this thing? Oh, it just kind of shoves me out a little bit, but now I'm just utterly stuck. So, if you're planning on using this Warthog, don't do that. But if you don't give a fuck, go ahead and merge your Marines into a wall. Something neat there. Something I have not ever fucked around with before, so... There we go. I don't think there's any videos of anyone messing with that before. I mean, it's just... It's technically a glitch, yeah. It's not like a glitch anyone would ever look up. The, um, make your marines stuck in a pelican because you parked them in the way of it glitch. I don't see anyone doing that. It's just, yeah, put something where something spawns and it gets merged. It's not exactly, um, magical. But, nonetheless, it's still something to do. So now you kind of pop up here, and now, there's the first one, oh where's the second one, he's back here, oh crap, 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 Just retreat, retreat, let him get back in the open, I'm not going to risk Stacker's life here, since they're so big it's actually not that hard to really hit them though, but, Apparently there's a uh, Covenant somewhere that still survived like a Grunt or Jackler. Oh no wait, this is the uh, other swarm that I forget about this all the time. Jackals actually spawn in here after you um, come back with the Hunters. But I always forget about them, so... Let's do this. Oh yeah, I got these scope there by this asshole. I actually dodged a punch. But, let's do that. Everyone's happy, except for me, because I'm missing a little bit of health, but I'm not going to run for a health pack when I'm just missing one bar. It's not really worth it. And now we're going to bring our Warthog back down here, because there's a specific reason for why I want to do this, actually. Um, which, if you've played this level, you'll know. Probably. If you haven't, or if you haven't really dicked around in this, you might not know, but... Uh, the marines upstairs, they well not upstairs, but out in the open there, they'll all die. Like, because they'll be like, the Covenant are coming in, and we can't hold them off, yada yada. And then the Pelican will come to pick you up, but if you actually look out there, they'll all be dead. Um, so, kind of a bummer there, but if you park, um, some marines down here, they sometimes live. If you park, like, three warthogs full, that seems to usually actually make them die, but if you have one warthog in here, it usually survives. But I want back it up just a little bit so the sword guy doesn't kill him because 
The sword dude spawns on your way back out. But I'm going to cut this off right here, and I'll see you next time when we continue our assault, not assault, um, continue our uh, exploration for the uh, silent photographer. See you then.